Welcome to this month's I Can Do It Knit Sampler Blanket Squares. It's our last month and I'm so glad that you could join me, Kelly Slack, as we adventure into the brioche stitch. We have two squares to work on this month. We have the plain brioche, which I find just as attractive on the back as the front. And we have the pearl brioche. And the pearl brioche, while not quite as attractive on the back, is still rather pretty. I think you could easily use these squares, either right side or wrong side up in your blanket, and you would be happy with both. We are going to venture down the brioche stitch path. It's not the hardest of stitches, but it's not the easiest either. I have great confidence that by the time you try this stitch and follow along with my tutorials, that you will achieve a beautiful square just like I have. And remember, we're knitting to a six inch square and because brioche stitch is just a little bit stretchier than some of our other stitches have been, you may find that you'll need to remo remove a few stitches or knit a few more or a few less rows in order to make your squares six inches by six inches. I'm going to go ahead and cast on for the plain brioche. We're going to start with that plain brioche square because it's important to learn the basics of brioche before we change it up a little bit. So I hope you join me in the next video to find out how to do that plain brioche.